don't know why people say that. If they see a couple very loving, they will say things like, Oh, they are newlyweds. They just got married. That is a very bad seed to plant into someone's head because not every marriage is the same. Not every marriage is going to be easygoing on the first year. So having that thought and experiencing struggles and challenging times in my marriage makes me wonder like, Sh- did I marry the wrong person? Was it the wrong decision? If you're struggling in your marriage or going to get married, I hope that these tips will serve you in your marriage. Being right is not everything. I know, I know, I know it's so cliche. Everybody says this, but hear me out. So one morning, Danny was telling me that his towel smells like oil. So immediately after he went to work, I replaced that towel. I put it in the basket. I took a new thin one and put it at the towel rack. So the next day he was calling out to me, darling, can you get me a new towel while in the shower? So I was like, oh, but I already changed it yesterday. He was like, no, it's the same one. And he said, anyway, it's so thin, it can't possibly dry properly anyway. So I was like, (sighs) took a new towel and passed it to him. Then we went about our day. It was a very lovely day. So now let's rewind to one year ago. I wouldn't have done the same thing. In fact, It would have been so different. We would have had a disastrous day, if not the next couple of days as well. So rewinding back to one year ago, I would insist that I've already changed it. I can even prove it to you in the laundry basket. I can show it to you. In fact, I will show it to you. Look, I will argue till death do us part. I will argue that I changed it and I don't know what he's talking about. And as if that was not enough, I would also demand to know when there was a change of preference in towel thickness. Since when did you like thick towels? Because you told me that you like thin towels. I would be feeling very upset and angry and hurt that when I'm being serving and so attentive and immediately I changed it for you and now you're saying I didn't? Like how dare you? That that was where I came from. If you are anything like me, I invite you to stop. Take a moment, stop and think, is it really worth it? At the end of the day, my husband was loving to me. He was kissing me before work. We parted lovingly and he came home and everything was all right. Imagine one year ago, the road that I would have taken would have caused so much pain to me, to my husband, to the relationship over a freaking towel. Like, mm. So remember, at the end of the day, there is no winner or loser because it's either you both win together or you both lose. People say, again, people say, you know, people say a lot of stuff. But many times, no matter how many people say something, it might still be not true. People say that in order to have a good relationship, you should never go to bed angry. I'm telling you, it's okay to go to bed angry because most of the time in the evening, both of you are depleted, exhausted. You probably become a little bit oversensitive over a certain things or your husband becomes oversensitive. Stop the fight. Go to sleep because in the morning, the fight sometimes might not even make sense anymore. For me, if... We had a fight, I want it to be immediately discussed. I want problems to be solved there and then. I will insist so much knowing that we cannot go to bed angry. I will be so persistent 
that it would drive my husband crazy. So if you are in the same trap, in the same mindset as me, hearing and reading what people say, take some time to learn about your husband. People like me explode and forgive immediately. And there are other people too. Not everyone is like us. My husband is the other kind. If he is upset, he needs time to let the fire sizzle and burn out. So I've learned to go to bed angry and in the morning, 99% of the time, he reaches out lovingly and then everything is fine. So there's no point holding on so tight to what people say is true. So talking about getting angry at each other, if you said something or did something that your husband perceives as insulting or something negative, even if you feel like there is no way logical that he feels that way, why are you accusing me of hurting you or insulting you when that isn't my intention? Even if they make us feel like the one in the wrong, we have to learn to accept the feelings of our husband. Because you can't tell somebody to unfeel something. A feeling is a feeling. And the person cannot unfeel it just by telling themselves to unfeel it. Even when they themselves think that it's not logical to be angry, but if they feel angry and upset, then, I'm sorry, my husband's calling. Speaking of the devil. Hi, love. Hi. Yep. Bye. So where was I? Yeah. So basically, I've learned to accept that his irritation and his perspective of a certain thing that I do or say is real. The feeling he gets is real. So instead of trying to fight it, instead of trying to say, I'm in no wrong, you shouldn't feel that way because I didn't mean it that way. This brings us back to the first point, which is being right isn't everything. So instead of you have no right to be angry with me, we have to learn to accept the other person's feeling about a situation. So tell me, what's the best marriage advice that you've ever heard? Share them, discuss them in the comments below. I really hope that my challenging moments in my marriage will help us both have a joyful, fulfilling marriage and relationship. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!